at dead of night, the Pakistani army led by Yahya Khan, they planked upon the people of Bangladesh with all modern weapons, with tanks, machine guns, and uh, hand grenades and bombings with all other modern weapons. And their main attack was on the students and youth. You know the students' movement in Bangladesh, so they were very much, uh, their attack was very much on the students. So they attacked, first of all, Dhaka University hostels, and in the hostels they uh, uh, shelled on and they set fire on the rooms and they, uh, the students were driven out from the rooms and they were lined up and were killed. They did not spare even the old teachers. Fourteen teachers of Dhaka University were killed. Among them two heads of the departments of Dhaka University, one of philosophy department, Dr. G.C. Dev, and one of the statistical department, Dr. Munir Jaman, was also killed. And some other important uh, teachers, there were 14 teachers of Dhaka University. And all the students of Iqbal Hall, Jagannath Hall, and Dhaka Hall were killed. They were taken out of the, their rooms and were lined up and then machine gun. They also attacked the uh, girls hostel of Dhaka University. They, they tortured the provost of that hall and also killed the uh, guard and other people, those who were uh, working there. They also attacked the East Pakistan rifle camps and police camps there. And the main, another main target was on the poor people. Uh, there are thousands of people in part. Uh, they are day laborer and other and like these people. In these house, houses, their houses, the army people first of all they sprayed petrol and they set fire on these houses. And when they came out of the houses, all these poor people they were machine gun. And all over the city of Dhaka, this this military people they. Uh, set fire in many places and they bombed they, with, from tanks uh, with machine guns and killed what I can mention on from the 25th night to 27th morning till they continuously shedding and firing on the people and between this time from the 25th night to 27th morning uh, more than 10,000 people were died and they also attacked in, in the various factory areas on the workers and the ground of this uh, genocide and the ground of this declaration of independence. Since independence, our people are fighting for democracy and various nationalities they are fighting for national right of autonomy you know pakistan is a multinational state there are five nationalities in pakistan so our ruling class our and ruling government they did never allow our people any democratic right it was in 1954 there was an election in East Pakistan only. And our people of East Pakistan, they elected a assembly in East Pakistan. And they gave their verdict for democracy and national right. This verdict was uh, completely, uh, I mean, uh, destroyed, that I mean, uh, not honored by the ruling class. They, it was delaying. And then it was the demand of the people. It was the demand of the political parties, democratic parties, to transfer power to the elected representative of the country and withdraw martial law. Then Ehiya Khan came to Dhaka and he was uh, uh, a discussion with Sheikh Mujibur Rahman 
as the representative of the people. And it was just a bluff when discussion was continuing. All on a sudden, the military attacked the people and this genocide happened. And before 25th, and the point of discussion of the representative of the people was that the transfer of power to the elected representative of the people, number two, the withdrawal of martial law, and number three, to uh, have an inquiry uh, that the people were killed by firing before this, that time. And another point was battles and youth of Bangladesh. We want to appeal to all the students and youth of the world, including this country, to come forward in our support and to mobilize the world opinion in favor of us and uh, to denounce this genocide. And also we appeal, we have already appealed to all the countries to recognize our government. You know, our, the, the government is already formed and this government is only constituted <coughs> and legal government of Bangladesh. This government would be the government of Pakistan because this party, Awami League, it is the majority party not in Bangladesh but also majority party in Pakistan also. It has secured 167 seats out of 300 seats in the parliament in all over the country. So it is the majority party not in Bangladesh, it is the majority party in Pakistan. So it is the only legal and constituted government in Bangladesh. So we appeal, or already appeal to the people of the world to recognize our government and again we also appealing to the uh, Islam, world. Could you please tell us something about your students activity and participation in this uh, liberation movement? So far we have not seen the correspondents who have gone to Bangladesh. We have not seen many, many students rubbing shoulders and move the for soldiers there in the front. How? Where are the students? Our students are fighting in various places. They are not well trained, of course, but they be in various places where uh, uh, organizing training uh, for the students so that they can fight against this military junta. And you know, our uh, Mukti foes and our students, our youths, have not a very uh, good and modern weapons. Uh, there are simple uh, rifles and other things. So, uh, with these weapons, we are trying to organize our students, to mobilize our students, our youths and people so that we can fight. And in various places, still now our students are uh, fighting and trying to mobilize other students also so that we can uh, organize a better fight against this army.